Linus had a big, not a fear, but just some issues with bikes and anything with wheels. Um, so it started out, we were coming here for daycare, and then it turned into training um, to kind of deal with the wheel problem because he was going into streets and stuff, chasing after bikes and skateboards. And so that's why we came. So I guess the process was, it started out slow with easy things. Um, and I think the hardest or the easiest things for him were the downs and things that he learned with, as a puppy. Um, but once we got to the actual skate park, that got interesting. Um, it was very difficult for him to not want to attack them. So he, he had a harder time with that. There was a lot of licking and a lot of stress that went on. Probably one of the, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to laugh or cry when he <laughs> was at the skate park for the first time. Um, Sarah was trying to get him to lay down and he was not having that. Um, so it was just a lot of, a lot of work. And I think the hardest part, the first two weeks, was having him on a leash the entire two weeks um, because he's so used to being free in the house. So having to stay on a leash for two whole weeks is not very fun for either one of us. <laughs> and he's used to his walks um, off leash. And so to have to walk him on leash all the time is not very fun. But in the end, he's come out to be a much better dog than he was. We still have some issues, but it's better than it was. Um, I, so I've gone to other trainers before, and they don't, they don't take the time to teach you proper things, um, how to use the e-collar properly. Most of the places, the place that we went to before was totally against it. Um, they, they thought that just using verbal cues was the only way to go, which is fine for most dogs. Um, but he never responded to it. So it was really hard to try to get him to listen to you without having any sort of tool to be used. Um, so having the tool as the e-collar to use has been really helpful. Um, and they just take the time. And the online classes that you do and the videos that you watch and stuff have been extremely helpful because I just go back and watch them over and over and over again um, to learn new things. and. They really are in depth with showing you how to do things properly instead of just kind of throwing you out there and hoping you hoping you get it right. So that'd probably be the reason why I recommend Ty. And he's you know, wonderful. So um, he used to be a pretty crazy dog with a lot of energy. And since we've been doing the training and the controlled walks and everything, um, he. We only have to be out for an hour instead of three hours before he's tired. So that's been nice. Um, he puts himself to bed now, which <laughs> he never did before. <laughs> so that's been a big improvement that he can, he's finally relaxed enough to just go to sleep wherever he wants to sleep. Um, and he stays out of the kitchen now when we're cooking and everything. So he's changed a lot, but it's been a good change. <laughs>